Well, hello, Internet, and in this video today, I am going to show you how to set up TensorFlow GPU on Windows, and this is going to be specific to those people who have NVIDIA GPUs. I'm also going to show you how to set up Visual Studio Code, Jupyter, uh, QDNN, CUDA, multiple different extensions, and a whole bunch of different things, and I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, I'm just saying get Python or upgrade Python. If you're not sure if Python's upgraded, just go to python.org and click on downloads and get the newest version, 3.10, and go and download that. And you're going to have to, of course, open it up. And then at this point, this is extremely important. Make sure you have a check mark where it says add Python 3.1 to path. Make sure put uh, check marks in both of those boxes. And then you're going to click on where it says install now. And it's going to install. It's going to take some time. After that is all set up to verify it is installed, just go and open your command prompt and type in Python dash dash version. And you should see Python 3.1 show up on your screen. And so pip should be installed, but let's just verify everything. Just type in pip with a space and help. And then we are also going to upgrade pip. Just type in Python with a space, dash M with a space, pip, and install, dash, dash, upgrade pip. And you can see here, everything's already been satisfied. Now we're going to also install matplotlib. So also in your command prompt, you're just going to type in pip install matplotlib, and you're going to see everything installs here. And just make sure you wait until your prompt comes back up, then verify that everything is installed. Don't go and rush through and assume things are installed. Wait for them to install. After this, I'm also going to show you how to set up Jupyter, and we're actually going to use Visual Studio Code, though, to develop machine learning applications. So we're just going to type in pip install Jupyter and just make sure you spell it correctly. After that is all set up, you're going to be able to type in Jupyter Notebook directly in your command prompt, and automatically a browser window is going to open up and show you the Jupyter Notebook application. We're not going to use that, though. We're going to use Visual Studio Code, but I'll get into that in a minute. All right, so you need to know what version of CUDA to install for your specific graphic card. So what I specifically did was I just typed in my uh, graphics card name, which is an NVIDIA RTX 3090. Just do this in a browser. It depends on whatever your card is. And then you're going to type in CUDA version afterwards and just search around until you can see which version. And you can see here that this person said that CUDA 11.0 is the oldest version of CUDA that is supported with that architecture. So I write that down. I know I need CUDA 11.0. All right, after this, you're going to also need to get Microsoft Visual Studio. Now, remember, we said that we are using CUDA 11.1. Let's just go back. So here we are. We are using 11. Oh, we're using 11. So it's 11.0. All right. So you can just look at this handy dandy chart here, and you can see that we need to get Visual Studio C 2017 for CUDA. Uh, 10.1 through 11.5. So that is the version that we are going to use based off this chart. Well, I'll provide a link to this in the description also. So that means we need to download Visual Studio 2017, or I specifically need to refer to this chart if your graphics card information is different. All right, and whenever you do, the Visual Studio installer is going to pop up. You're just going to click on Continue, and it's going to download. And here, we do not need any workloads, so we're just going to click on Install. And this is going to come up. Just click on continue. And everything is going to start installing for you. And then you can see that this is going to pop up. And I went and signed in with my Microsoft account. And whenever I did, you can see Visual Studio pops up on your screen exactly like this. All right. So now I am going to need to know which version of QDNN and CUDA I am going to require for TensorFlow. So I just went to tensorflow.org, install, and this little chart right here is going to show me everything I need. You have to make sure that you install exactly the right versions or you will have problems. Okay, so it said previously on that chart I need to get the CUDA Toolkit 11.2. So I'm going to go to developernvidia.com, CUDA Toolkit Archive, 
and I am going to find that specific version and click on it. Whenever I do, this is going to pop up. I'm using Windows. I'm using uh, Windows 10, and I am going to install this locally. So I have all that set up. Whenever I do, I can just click on download right there where it says download 2.9 gigabytes. And do not change this. Make sure you keep everything exactly where all by the defaults. Otherwise, you might have issues. Of course, your directory isn't going to be Derek. It's going to be whatever pops up there, and we're just going to work with that. Okay, and whenever this pops up, we're just going to click on Agree and Continue. And Express is specifically what we are looking for. And it is just going to install for us. And there you go. And there you go. All right, and click on Next. And then we're just going to uh, launch the NVIDIA GeForce experience. And it's up to you if you want to create desktop shortcuts or not. Click on Close. And this is going to pop up. And you're going to say you agree and continue. And then we are then, after this, going to go to the DNN site in, for specifically for NVIDIA. And we're going to come down here where it says download DNN. And we went, I had to actually log into this, of course. And I'm just going to type in my email and click on next. And then I went and set up an authenticator app code so that I could log in easier. And then I typed in all my personal information and clicked on submit. And it asked you to do a little survey. I went and did it real quickly. And then, specifically, what we're going to do is I am going to get Coup DNN version 8.4. Now, what it shows here is the current version of Coup DNN is 8.4. But the version I want is Coup DNN 8.1, as this chart shows right here. So I want to get an archived version for 8.1. So I'm going to click on Archived Coup DNN Releases. And I'm specifically going to get 8.1. So just click on that link. And I am specifically using Windows, so I'm going to use Library for Windows x86. Click on that. And you can see it's right here. And I just need to extract those files. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to say that I wanted to extract them. And just click on Extract All directly in this folder. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to go and throw this into the extract version. I went and threw it into my D drive. You can throw it wherever you want. What's important, however, is after that is downloaded, what you want to do is you want to find wherever you have your NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, and you specifically want to find 11.2. At least that's my version. Your version might be different. But either way, I want to select over in the QDNN download that I just got. I want to select the bin, the include, and the lib folders. And I want to drag those over into the GPU computing toolkit on the left. And I want to paste that updated information directly inside of there. And you can see everything went and upgraded or up updated inside of those folders. Now what we need to do is set some environment variables. So just go click on your start and type in environment until you see edit the system environment variables and click on that. And what we're specifically going to look for here is our bin directory and then another library directory. So you can just click up there where it says this PC, local disk C, and you can just copy that specific address. And then over in the system properties, you're going to click where it says environment variables. And you're going to select path and you're going to click on edit and you're going to see some, you're not going to see this, but you're going to see something that looks like this. And then you're just going to go new and you're going to paste in the bin directory as well as the library. It's, it's uh, lib and VVP. You're going to put the full path to both of those here in your environment variables and click on OK. All right, now we're going to open up command prompt. And actually, you should restart your computer at this point. So restart your computer, then go and get the command prompt. And you're going to want to right-click on it and run as administrator. And then, once you do that, you're going to type in python-m pip install upgrade pip. And then you're going to type in pip install tensorflow-gpu. Of course, every command here has to be exactly as I typed it. And then all of that stuff is going to uh, go and install. And then we're going to type in pip3 install dash dash upgrade tensorflow dash GPU. And all of that is going to install. Of course, you have to wait until everything completely stops. 
All right, now we're going to get Visual Studio Code. So you can just go, you can just type in Visual Studio Code inside of your browser and find it. I'm going to get the 64-bit Windows version of Visual Studio Code. Of course, I already have Visual Studio Code installed. I just went and reinstalled it. All right, so you just have to accept the agreement. Click on Next. And after you do that, you're going to have the Visual Studio Code installed. You're going to want to click on the left where it looks like you have little Tetris Tetraminos. And we're going to put some extensions inside of here. You're going to want to get the Python extension, the Jupyter extension, and also that's it. So just get Python and Jupyter, as you can see, that I have installed right there. So you're going to download and install both of those. After you do that, you're going to want to define which compiler you're going to want to use. So you're just going to click, you're going to click over on the right where it says Python 3.10. You're going to click over there. And then you're going to make sure that in this drop down list that you select Python 3.10. So click on that. And then you're going to type in this code, the sample code we have here, just to verify that TensorFlow works. And you're going to click on Run All. And if it runs and it says TensorFlow version 2.8.0, you know you have installed everything properly. So hopefully that helps people out there. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.